Okay. All right, so now we're talking about the uh, Chris SMG, which is chambered in the 45 automatic Colt pistol cartridge, same as the 1911. Now, as you can see, it has a uh, smaller, smaller magazine capacity than the P90 or the MP5, but it does do more damage, and it definitely has a higher fire rate. The fire rate is just unbelievable. It, uh, it's a great bullet hose, you know, and pour it down a hallway and just mow things down. Like so. So it puts out a lot of damage very quickly, but do expect to be reloading frequently. This can be offset by a larger SWAT perk, which will increase your ammo capacity. Uh, I personally prefer the P90. I like the larger magazine and the more reasonable fire rate. Uh, one advantage you do have for the Chris MG, which I forgot to check on the P90, is that you can set this thing to single shot. Really control your recoil and ammunition expenditure. Good for accuracy, and as long as you just keep clicking away, you'll do pretty good damage. Uh, it has a fairly large ammunition capacity overall outside of the magazine. That's a flash valve. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna die. Oh, lost Mikey. Here <sighs> So, it's just down to us and the Chris to try and salvage this. I wanna go for the higher damage output at the cost of some magazine. That's an angry flesh pound. And normally an angry flesh pound is something you very much want to avoid. Mikey's SA-80 apparently, it's fine, we'll make do. Oh, that flesh bound. It's not who you're not dealing with right now. I've got to get away, heal myself as soon as I can. I, again, rather than be dealing with the flesh bound. See if we can stun him. Oh, we killed him with the flashbang. I didn't even realize flashbang at damage output was that high. We're still alive right now, and I'm going to rate that as pretty good. Oh, and it would s appear that Michael has left the game by accident. So I'm actually uh, losing focus on the weapon uh, review here, simply trying to stay alive. But the crit, as you can see, is actually performing rather well for itself. Uh, that damage output there was high enough to... Uh, oh, even stumble that scrape. Penetration wasn't good enough to punch through much to this husk. And it doesn't one shot clocks. But I was pretty satisfied with it. I still think I prefer the P90. But with the damage or the higher damage output of the 45 ACP cartridge and the higher rate of fire than the P90, this is actually a very uh, effective weapon, especially if you're in tight tight quarters like this map is. 